Welcome back. Today marks one year since the gruesome terror attack on Israel. The deadliest attack in the country's history sparked the ongoing war in Gaza. President Biden held an event at the White House in remembrance as both former President Trump and Vice President Harris took a brief pause from the campaign trail to honor the victims. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy reports from the White House. President Joe Biden marked the anniversary of the Hamas terror attack on Israel by lighting a memorial candle with the White House remembering the lives lost one year ago. The president has met with many of their families and grieved with them. As he said this morning, they have been through hell. The militant group's strike on Israel left more than 1,200 people dead and roughly 200 Hidi taken hostage, with more than 100 still missing, including Americans. In what was the deadliest day for the Jewish people since the Holocaust. It ignited a war in Gaza, where more than 40,000 people, many civilians, have been killed in the fighting, the Hamas-run health ministry reports. Both Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump took a pause from the campaign to honor the victims. Harris in D.C. and Trump in New York attending a memorial dedicated to the victims of the October 7th attack. As his running mate, Ohio Senator J.D. Vance, gave remarks on the National Mall. What Hamas? started on October the 7th, now threatens to erupt into a widespread war. And I speak for Donald Trump, and I think I speak for all Americans in saying that we want peace. We want the real peace that can only exist in the region when Hamas is defeated. And again, seven Americans are still being held hostage by Hamas. The administration works to bring them home. In the meantime, the nation is also waiting to see how Israel will respond to the latest attack by Iran. Reporting live at the White House, Ben Kennedy, Local 10 News. Ben